hello and welcome back to another vlog i'm about to do some skincare it's saturday morning and i'm gonna do my skincare and put on some eye patches that i kept in the fridge i always keep them in the fridge and it really is just so nice when you put them on very cooling adds that extra depuffing effect so first, I already rinsed my face. I never wash my face in the morning. I always just rinse it. And I'm doing, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, but it's an activating serum. And then um, I'm gonna go in with the Caudalie Vino Perfect. It's a brightening serum. And those are the mini products that I've been using recently. Next, I'm going to go in with the Osea Hyaluronic Acid C Serum. I've been loving this stuff. Next, I'm going to go in with something that I discovered through TikTok. And someone needs to tell me if this is bad because I've done research and I can't seem to find an article saying that it's bad or something saying it's bad. But I've been using the Arnica Cream for it helps with bruising and swelling so i've been using that underneath my eyes someone needs to tell me if it's bad because i have struggled with dark circles for a majority of my life if not all of my life i truly think the reason that i have dark circles is because when i was in kindergarten i broke my nose really bad like i knocked myself out from like hitting my face so hard and that is why yeah i think that i don't have like a symmetrical face because of the way that my face like grew into itself and i got a nose job to like correct the straightness of my nose when i was like 18 or 19 but i was out on the playground in kindergarten and i ran head first into monkey bars or like the jungle gym that big thing that's like a bunch of bars all over it i remember it so vividly too it's crazy i was playing tag with a bunch of people and i was like running away from people and i like remember turning around to look to see if anyone was close to me and then i turned back around and i hit like my nose like my face and i blacked out i remember waking up on the ground and my teacher was like running over to me and then i remember her like icing my face right after and it was just yeah so i really think that's why i have dark circles because it's like darkness all through here and like all right here and it has never gone away i've always had it so here we are today um so i've been using the arnica because i saw on tiktok a girl was like i've cracked the code to dark circles like use arnica cream so i've been using it for only like four days and I haven't noticed a difference yet but we'll see I'm like so open to trying anything because obviously nothing has made it go away I don't know I just am open to very open to trying products to see how they work for me so if it's a bad idea to use that and you know it's a bad idea to use that please comment and tell me to stop using it I would love to know that's what I've been doing and I'm just gonna go in with this CeraVe daily moisturizing lotion Christian's calling me right now and he's in Tulum hold on okay I just got dressed for the day just wearing something super comfy but I'm wearing Ali Yoga sweatpants this top is from Shein I'm not sure if it's still in stock but if it is this reflective light thing, I don't even know. Do you guys see that? It's like weird and reflective is bothering me, but she and top, I'll link it if they have it in stock, $10. I've had it for like three years and I have it in multiple colors, really good. And then this sweater from Princess Polly. I really hope my fingers haven't been over the microphone the whole entire clip, but this is the little outfit of the day, comfy. 
I was just trying on some of the stuff for my trip to Tulum next weekend. I got some stuff in from Shein. I definitely went the more affordable route for clothes just to save some money and they're really cute pieces so i'm really excited to wear them the theme for the bachelorette trip is actually tropical disco and my new year's eve dress is very much like the disco vibe so it's like perfect i can rewear it for the trip so i'm going to rewear that dress and then i bought like a two-piece set for another night and um is it three nights of dinners Oh shoot. Huh. I don't know why I thought it was only two nights of dinners for some reason. It's literally three nights of dinners. Okay, so I got two outfits from Shein. So I'm just going to pack both of those outfits. I was going to return one, but because I bought it specifically for the trip and I don't even know where else I would wear it besides Tulum. It's such a, a vibe for Tulum. So one night I'll do my New Year's dress and then the two-piece set and then the other dress that I got. Because it's three nights. Why did I think it was two nights? I don't know where my head is. But, and then I bought a bathing suit and a cover-up. And that's all I got because I can honestly, I have way too many clothes anyway that I can re-wear and I have a lot of basics and I already have shorts and I, like, I just didn't need anything for the trip. But I did want some fun pieces for dinner. So I got them from Shein and I'll obviously share them with you guys when I'm on the trip and I'll link them for you. But anyways, yeah, I'm going to pack tomorrow. I think I need a few more travel size like containers. I have some from last summer that I packed for the Bahamas with because I packed in a carry-on and I'm going to be packing in a carry-on for this trip. And I think I need like a few more, but I'm not sure. So I'd have to like go through that and figure that out. But um, I definitely need like a mini dry shampoo. But other than that, I'm probably going to be packing like really light for the trip and just wear what I bring and just be specific and intentional with the outfit so I don't overpack. But anyways, I've just been hanging out and I'm about to go actually to pick up a pickup order from Sephora. And I'll share with you guys what it is when I pick it up. I went to Sephora. I did a first impression video of this on TikTok. I don't really post on TikTok. Um, sometimes I try to post on TikTok, but I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't really have an answer why I don't post on TikTok. I just don't. I like YouTube for me better. I don't know. But it is really easy to just post a, a video on TikTok. Like it took me literally five minutes to film the video and then I just posted it immediately. So it literally is so quick. It's very quick content, but I like YouTube. So I got the Valentino Born in Roma perfume because I was influenced by TikTok. And I don't know how I came to that side of TikTok, the perfume talk. I think that's what it's called, perfume TikTok, whatever. But I've been on that side of TikTok and I'm not complaining. I really enjoy it. I've been in such a perfume buying mood and wearing perfumes i used to only wear perfumes on special occasions i never i didn't wear perfume every day because my perfumes are expensive and i just didn't want to waste them so ever since i discovered dossier i wear perfume like every day and i love experimenting with different perfumes and trying new perfumes and i've been just loving wearing all these different perfumes like i don't know what it is like i just entered in like a perfume loving mood i'm just like ooh, what perfume like i'm having fun with it so it's been fun but i went and got the valentino born in roma perfume i got the mini one because i didn't know how it was gonna smell and i did it for the drive up like mobile order pickup thing and i saw two tiktoks about it so the second tiktok was like referencing the first tiktok that I saw so it was like we both saw the same one and then when I heard her talk about it and love it I was like okay this is my sign I need to go pick it up so I did and it is such a good smell it's sweet and floral and it reminds me of the YSL black opium perfume so if you I used to wear that perfume in college and I love that perfume it smells really similar to that in my opinion and I really do love it so I'm like 
almost tempted once this runs out to just pick up the full size. I wish Dossier had a affordable dupe for this that smells the exact same, but I already looked it up on Dossier and they didn't have it. So I'll link this down below. This one, it's small, but this one's $30. I think it was $32. And it's like a decent size and it's a travel size. You can throw it in your purse, your work bag, your car. Um, you can travel with it and it's a spray which I like because I don't like the travel ones that are like where you have to like dump it on you or like it's an open cap. I like either the roller bombs or the sprays that are travel size. So I'll link it. I really do. I love it. It smells so good. It just reminds me of the YSL Black Opium but like I think I like it better. So I picked up that and also threw in a Olaplex number three, which I didn't, um, I was not expecting this because I didn't, um, ask for it or, like, use points towards it, so I guess it was just a free sample, and this is, like, a decent size, too, so that's exciting. Anyways, I'm gonna go inside, but that was my fun, exciting purchase of the day. Um, the notes are bourbon, vanilla, and jasmine are the key notes, I'm pretty sure. I'll link it. It smells really good. It's the next day. I am doing a ton of laundry this morning to try and figure out if there's anything that I've worn recently that I want to bring on my trip. And I am putting together kind of my toiletries right now. And then I just placed a order at Ulta and Target for the extra little mini travel size things that I need from those places that I'm missing for my trip. And then I'm gonna slowly start putting together like outfits to bring and start packing my suitcase. I still need to go up in Christian's closet and grab my suitcase, but yeah, I've just been um, doing stuff like that. But oh my gosh, okay, so I need to tell you guys a story. So I was on TikTok this morning and I was watching a TikTok and this girl posted, it like came up on my For You page and she was like, I will never go back to Tulum because she had like a haunted experience and that like freaked me out a little bit and um it's kind of understandable like why tulum could necessarily have like paranormal things because it is like built on mayan ruins i'm just like a little bit nervous because she said after she came back for like two weeks she had like weird paranormal experiences back home and stuff like that kind of like freaks me out but yeah, I'm just trying to like not think about stuff like that, but I just thought that was so funny how she's like, oh yeah, like I'm never gonna go back. And then she explained her story about like seeing a face and had like her phone not working and then all of a sudden it started re It was just weird. And like everyone in the comments was like, oh yeah, like it's so haunted. Like this is why I will never go to Tulum. Like this is why I'll never be back. And I'm like, like I need to stay off my phone. <laughs> so I'm just trying not to think about it. But what are the odds that that would show up on my For You page right before I'm about to go and I'm about to pick up Christian from the airport and he was there all weekend and um, yeah, it's just fantastic. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm about to go to the grocery store too just to pick up some stuff for the week. We're gonna do sandwiches, just like chicken salad sandwiches. It's really easy from Publix and that will be the lunches and then I don't really need much for dinners or breakfast. I'm leaving Thursday afternoon, so it's only like a few nights of things that we'll need and um, Yeah, so I'm gonna do that and then probably by the time that I'm done with the grocery store My Ulta order and Target order will be ready for pickup and then I'll come back and pack Just got gas in my car And a coke zero <laughs> and Now I'm gonna go to Ulta pick up my stuff and then Target Okay, I just got home from getting gas, picking up my Ulta order, and going to Target. Got some toothpaste from Target because I'm almost out, and I hope that this is okay if I like roll it up. 
and bring it with me instead of buying like a mini travel size there's only like a little bit left in here and i'm like hoping if i roll it up it'll be fine and i'll be able to pass with it in my suitcase but i got a mini of my favorite hairspray dry shampoo face wash and then moisturizer and then i got a little mini body lotion and i had these little products from when i went to the bahamas last summer with this little bag i just put some leave-in conditioner in here i'm sure this is enough for a few days body wash in here and then i need to fill these with shampoo and conditioner and then makeup wipes i usually use a cleansing balm but it's just easier to bring makeup wipes for a trip in my opinion i just don't want the oil from the cleansing balm to melt completely down and just get everywhere so it's just easier to bring this but these are all the minis that i got also i'm gonna bring this miniature brazilian crush body spray it's plastic so because i have a lot of mini perfumes from my advent calendar from christmas but I just feel more comfortable bringing like a plastic one and all of the mini ones are glass. So I'm bringing this and I feel like it's the perfect scent. It's super beachy, just a mini spray deodorant. And then this is small enough to bring for sunscreen, just the L to MD, UV clear. So those are all my minis. Okay, so I'm gonna fill these up. One thing that I regretted in the Bahamas was not bringing purple shampoo with me because my hair turned so yellow from being out in the sun washing it every day just being in the pool in the ocean things like that so what i usually do is i usually mix shampoo whenever i apply purple shampoo like i don't apply just this directly i always mix it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill it with my shampoo and then put like a little splash of this And then it just spreads and you don't have to use a lot of the purple shampoo and it lasts so much longer. later i picked christian up from the airport and we came back he's been napping he actually lost his voice um on the trip with all the guys so um he's in the shower right now we're about to head to dinner but i've made a lot of progress on packing and i don't really think i need more than bathing suits cover-ups and then dinner outfits and then obviously pjs and airport outfits i'm bringing just an extra little short and tank top but I really don't think I'll even need it. So I have all my dinner outfits here. Um, this is just a bodysuit to wear under my New Year's dress, but you'll see them all in the Tulum vlog. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. I'm not gonna share all of the outfits, but I have my airport outfits to and back home, bathing suits, PJs, extra outfit. And every time I pull out this carry-on suitcase, I swear it gets smaller and smaller but I think everything will fit in here just fine. And then I'm leaving all my toiletries out on the bathroom counter until I leave. So it's a little progress on packing. Mm -hmm. 